in this video we are going to see a classification of signals based on time reversal property that is e1 and odd signals This classification based on time reversal property of a signal. Any signal can be time reverse so that we get a signal which is just the reflection of that signal. So by using that reflection and original signal itself, we can define signals of two types, A1 signals and odd signals. So let's consider x of t is any random signal whose time reverse signal will be x of minus t. So if x of minus t is same as x of t, then I can say x of t is E1 signal. What we can say in words, if time reflection of a signal is same as original signal, then signal is called to be even signal simple example of even signal is x of t is cos t Because as we know, if I replace t by minus t, I will get cos of minus t, which is nothing but cos t, which is x of t only. Or I can have another simple example, x of t as t square. So if I replace t by minus t, I will get x of minus t as minus t bracket square which is t square nothing but the original signal so pertaining to this where i am getting x of minus t same as x of t in both the cases i can say both the signals are even signal let's graphically represent how the even signal can be identified without writing the equation so i will consider any continuous time signal like this x of t will be like this so on a time axis i'll define this as zero this is 1, 2, over here minus 1, minus 2 and the signal will be like this.
without writing an equation how we will identify whether the given signal is even or not if you see properly i can fold this x of t axis which is the y axis and this is x axis so what i can observe over here if i fold this y axis both the parts of the signal will overlap that phenomena is called as symmetricity of a signal so in other words from the graph or plot i can say if a signal is symmetric about y axis then that signal is e1 signal so i repeat a very important observation we have uh, came across from the plot if a signal is symmetric about y axis then that signal is e1 signal in discrete time also we can have a example and how the signal will look like so in discrete time let's take this is x of n with n as the x axis having the value 0 1 2 3 like this and over here it is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and we can have the signals which values will be let's take this is 2 over here it is 1 let's take this is once again as a 2 and over here it is 1 again so in order to have this x of n as even signal i need to have same values 1 2 and 1 for n equal to minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 respectively so that the complete signal will be like this so here also if i fold this axis which is the y axis both the signals will overlap so this is also symmetric about y axis and pertaining to this statement i can say x of n is e1 signal let's discuss odd signals now now if time reverse signal is negative of the original signal then that is a odd signal that is mathematically if x of minus t equals minus x of t then x of t is odd signal so in what i can say if time reflection of a signal is minus of the original signal
then signal is odd signal. Simple examples are x of t is sin t. So if I replace t by minus t, I will get sin of minus t, which is nothing but minus sin t. Now this minus sin t can be written as minus of x of t because sin t is x of t. So what we got over here x of minus t is minus x of t. Another example is x of t equal to t cube. Let's replace t by minus t to get x of minus t as minus t bracket cube in the end it is minus t cube t cube is x of t so i can say x of minus t is minus x of t so here also we got x of minus t as minus x of t so it is proven that if time reflection of a signal is negative or you can say minus of the original signal then the signal is odd signal now let's identify the signal whether it is odd or not just by looking the plot or graph of that signal. So here I will consider a random signal like this. This is t equal to 1, t equal to 2 and over here it is 1, here it is minus 1. For the negative t axis, it is minus 1 and minus 2. x axis is t, y axis is x of t. So the signal I am going to consider will be like this. So this is a signal I have taken. Now can we observe this carefully and come out with some observation the way we have came across observation for even signal. So if you see properly over here I can say if I fold y axis and after folding y axis, if I fold x axis also, then the entire signal will overlap each other. So, if I fold y axis, the resultant will be like this. Somewhat like this, I will get a signal and after folding x axis, the signal I will get will be like this. This is the first part and second part will overlap it like this. So first part I have already done, second part will absolutely same as the first part. That means it is overlapping each other. So I'm getting a overlapping of the signal when I fold y axis as well as x axis meaning in order to write in a symmetric term I can say if a signal is symmetric about the origin then it is odd signal i repeat if a signal is symmetric about the origin 
then it is odd signal one more observation we can draw from over here and that observation is odd signal always passes through the origin it is the most important property of odd signal odd signal always passes through the origin meaning in the mathematical term i can say x of t will always equal to 0 for t equal to 0 this is true for each and every odd signal likewise we can take an example of a discrete time sequence so the sequence let's consider like this let's take this is 2 1 and 1 in order to be x of n as a odd signal i should have values of the signal for minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 opposite to that of 1 2 3 respectively meaning i should have x of n as minus 2 for n equal to minus 1, x of minus 2 as minus 1, and x of minus 3 is also minus 1. Then I can say the given signal is an odd signal. Important thing to observe is this x of n is always equal to 0 for n equal to 0. That is the meaning of symmetric about origin and then if this is true and also i'm getting a negative values for negative values of n i can say the signal is odd signal Any signal x of t or x of n can be considered as a combination of even and odd part. Let's see how. This concept is analogous to that of a matrix where we can say any matrix can be considered as a combination of two matrices. One is a symmetric and another is skew symmetry. So let's see how we can consider a signal to be a combination of even and odd part. So consider any random signal x of t. whose time reverse signal will be x of minus t so i can extract the even part of the signal
let's call that as x e1 t so this x e1 t will be given as half in bracket addition of original signal and its time reverse version so i can get x e1 t as half of x of t and plus x of minus t and odd part of x of t will be x or t equal to half multiplied by x of t minus x of minus t so what will happen if i add these two signals e1 and odd part i will get the complete signal so x of t is nothing but addition of x e1 t and x or t same exercise you can do for discrete time sequence x of n as well It's even part is nothing but half in bracket x of n plus x of minus n and odd part is half bracket x of n minus x of minus n. So in the end I can say x of n is a combination of e1 and odd part of x of n. So what we can say in the end? any signal whether it is x of t or x of n can be written as a combination of e1 and all signals. Thank you.